What we are looking at today is the geometry pattern feature as part of the pattern feature. So here we have a simple component, just a boss extrude, with a single cut extrude down it on one side. What we're wanting to do is pattern this along this edge for a direction so that multiple instances occur with cuts running the length of the component. So if we create that pattern now, using spacing in instances, and so say 10 mil, 10 instances, and if we select the direction of this edge here. Now, we have the geometry pattern feature ticked on. So when I tick off this, we can see that when the cut extrude has been patterned, it has not recalculated the geometry, but merely replicated it identically. So this cut extrude has an end condition that is up to 10 mil offset from this top surface here. And that was how the end of this cut extrude was initially calculated. But when we've patterned it, we've simply patterned the exact geometry itself. Now in this case what we want really is for this cut extrude and the following cut extrudes to follow the arc of the top face of the component. So if I go into the linear pattern here, edit feature, and untick the geometry pattern box and tick this off, we can now see that the linear pattern has been updated and that the end condition updates with each instance of the pattern. It is effectively recalculating the geometry that is being reproduced each time. Now in this case, this is obviously the desirable geometry that you want produced. But say we go to a case where there is a flat top surface and we're using the same end condition, so we're extruding up to a 10mm offset from this surface here. In this linear pattern, we have geometry pattern turned off, but it doesn't change the end geometry produced. So you may be wondering whether you should use the geometry pattern feature or not. Well, when we don't have the geometry pattern feature turned on and we look at the performance, we can see that the linear pattern is taking almost 40% of the rebuild time. However, then if I'm to go into the feature here now and turn on the geometry pattern option, it takes merely 25%, a considerable amount less than the previous instant. Now, this may not seem like much, but in the scale of a large component or large assembly, this could be uh, potentially very taxing on your hardware. So, to recap, the geometry pattern feature can be used to uh, help aid in the patterning of geometry to get the required result, whether that be to recalculate the geometry on each instance or to stick with an original piece of geometry. However, where possible, it is best to have the geometry pattern turned on as this greatly reduces the rebuild time 